Hi, my name is Eric Sanders. Welcome to my show at Eastern Projects Gallery here in downtown Chinatown, Los Angeles. And the name of the show is Electric Caterpillar, featuring all digital artwork. So this body of work, Electric Caterpillar, was all selected from the very beginning of my practice in 2017 and 2018 and represents a rebirth of my uh, artistic career since I started off when I was quite young and, and painted through college in my younger years, but took a long hiatus and when I came back, I stumbled on the digital art as a very practical solution to the fact that I had no studio and I could just do digital art anywhere. This body of work, in a way, is like walking through sort of an old diary or maybe a an old box of pictures. For me, I really associate these images with different moments and geographic locations in time for me. I just have a, such a strong association of where I was sitting, whether I was in Hong Kong, and there's another one where I was in a restaurant in uh, Vietnam, actually. The interesting thing about the digital, it taught me a lot about thinking about things in terms of layers because it's a tool that you can use to layer things on top of each other and erase certain layers and, and let pieces of bottom layers show through the upper layers. And it just gets much more complicated and interesting the more you layer things up. Layering is really the key to being a, a good, technically skilled painter. I had recently been very heavily influenced by Basquiat. And I was really uh, fascinated about how he used language and writing in his work. And so that was definitely leaving a huge imprint on me. And I wanted to incorporate writing and language into my work. But in my own style, I felt that if you used very almost tired trite kind of like little pieces of language. It was kind of interesting as whether sort of like a challenge to the viewer, or is he being serious about that or, or, is, this, or is he just being comedic? And uh, this piece behind me is a good example of where I was using language, almost treating words like they were discardable. In my painting practice, I'm very conscious about scale and trying to intentionally create things at a very small and intimate size that the viewer can interact with like a personal private exchange versus a very large scale piece which kind of wraps around your whole optical field and other people can enjoy the experience with you. Going back to 2017, 2018 when I was creating these things on my phone and my uh, iPad, I never gave any thought to how large these things would be if they were ever translated into a physical representation of the stuff that was sitting there digitally on my iPad. So fast forward several years later, when we're putting the show together, we're going to print these things out to certain sizes that I wanted to incorporate that same diversity of scale and have pieces that were very on a small scale that you could relate to in a more intimate way and then have these very large scale pieces. And so we were very thoughtful about which pieces lent themselves being blown up to nine feet by 12 feet and which ones did better um, in a more intimate small scale setting. So it was kind of the method to the madness of our approach to scale for this particular body of work.